What a day it's been for the Duquesne Dukes. Keith Dambrot's team for the first time since 1969 makes Duquesne a winner in the tournament. And, and coach, it happened early in the afternoon. You've had all afternoon in the evening to let it let it land, let it sit. What's the day been like since you guys walked off the floor, knocking off the six seed? Well, as you know, uh, it's short lived because you want to get on to the next one, but you have to enjoy the highs because a lot of times in this business, the lows outweigh the highs. If you look to BYU, and I watched them play a ton this year, and gosh, they're scary because they take so many threes and they make so many. But if I tell you at the end of the day, they score less than 70 and you hold them to eight threes, I have to believe that was like a recipe you, you thought could be uh, victorious, right? Well, for us especially, uh, Scott, you know, we're, we're not the most fluid offensive team at times. We've gotten better, uh, but for us uh, – Anytime we can get to 70 before the opponent and we hold people under uh, 70, especially into the mid-60s, we win a lot of games. So uh, we knew we weren't going to win if it was 81 to 71. You, uh, you mentioned you got to move on to the next one. I know coaches sometimes have a 24-hour rule to let yourself enjoy it, but that, that doesn't work in the NCAA tournament. So you, you beat a top-20 scoring team in BYU. Now you get Illinois. They're only the ninth-best scoring team in the, in the nation. What do you do to slow down that team? Because they're awfully multiple and versatile on that end of the floor. Well, you know what? I haven't really started thinking about that yet. I, I do think the recipe is simple for us. Uh, we have to keep the score down in. Uh, we we have to do a great job with our ball screen defense and one-on-one -on -one defense, that obviously with Terrence Shannon and, and you know, the, uh, the big guy in the middle is going to be a load for us. But, you know, we played against teams similar to them. You know, and, and what's funny about it is uh, Brad Underwood's, you know, one of Bob Huggins' guys, and I wouldn't be where I was if it wasn't for Bob Huggins. So it'll be a, it'll be a battle of Bob Huggins. That's the beauty of, of this event and this sport, really. I think so many of those paths, Keith, they, they, inter, they intersect if you're in the game long enough, and you have been. But we know this is, where, this is where you walk off. You said after the game, your guys won't let you leave yet. You got nothing to do for the next couple weekends. Why not keep playing? You got 40 more minutes on the clock, and that smile on your face tells me you're going you're gonna to enjoy the heck out of this, aren't you? I mean, how, how do you spend these next day and change? Well, you know, the biggest change for me is, um, you know, I'm not looking for anything else. This is it for me. So I've just been enjoying the games. I've been as calm as I've ever been. I've been a high-strung guy most of my life. So I've just enjoyed being out there and seeing my guys get better and, you know, just seeing the toughness level that our guys have have displayed and the brotherhood that they've had. I've actually had a really good time in the Atlantic 10 tournament and the, and the NCAA tournament. I bet you have. You won every game you played. All right, you, 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 win, <laughs> you, you win this one. LeBron, if a former player of yours, he, he gifted the whole crew shoes. You, if you make the Sweet 16, can you, can you get some new kicks for that? I think you, I'm lobbying for that. LeBron, sort it out. You guys beat Illinois. I feel like you got to get the, the <laughs> highest level gear there is, right? Hey, Scott, look, uh, he can't say to say no to Drew Joyce, my associate head coach. They, they've been friends since about eight years old, so I don't have to ask him for anything. Drew asked him. <laughs> there you go. Well, listen, enjoy this moment, and obviously Illinois presents a stout challenge, but it's this is what this tournament's about, and it's great to see the smile on your face. You've been a great coach for so long. Enjoy it as long as it lasts, all right? I really appreciate you having me. Thanks so much.